Hello students. In this video of chapter Water and Natural Resource from class 7, we are going to study the next topic which is conservation of resources. Conservation of resources means to save the resources in such a way that we can use them for a very longer time. In other words, we can say a wise and careful use of the resources is called conservation of resources. It doesn't mean that we should not use the resources now. It means we should use them wisely. Means only at that time when we require them at most. Then we should use the resources. Second, the careful. That means we should not waste the resources. So that they would last for longer time. And for other generations also they will be available. What are the main reasons that we should conserve our resources? The reasons are, the first is increase in population. As we have already discussed, the increase in population overloads on the resources as we require, everyone requires the resources for their needs. So, second one is related to it only that it requires the increase in the need. When the people, the number of people increases, everybody requires some resources for their daily purposes so the needs because of the increase in population at faster rate the need of the resources or the consumption of the resources also increases several folds means very quickly the resources are being used so in the coming future or very near future the many resources are going to be depleted so we should conserve them so that we, they, they can use them for a longer period of time Second, so what are the effects of the conservation of resources or what are the effects of being resources used at faster rate? The first is increase in pollution. If we use the uh, resources at faster rate, for example like fossil fuels, coal, diesel, petrol, natural gas, whatever, all these things when are used, except natural gases, all the fuels uh, increases the level of carbon dioxide because when they are used, carbon dioxide is released. So we should not pro promote the rate of consumption should be lower down so that increase in population pollution decreases. Second is change in climate. When the pollution increases, like carbon dioxide is increased in the atmosphere, it causes global warming and global warming causes the in change in the climate quickly. In the summers, very high temperature is seen in the winters very chill winters are uh, observed and the rain seasons become shorter which causes the water table to be go down and we are facing the scarcity of fresh water which is the main resource for our life the third is decrease in population of plants and animals when the climate change quickly when they do not get the proper feedings like the construction area is increasing because of the population increase of human so they are not getting forest, they are not getting the green plants for their foods. So the population of plants and animals are also decreasing. And we are directly dependent for our requirements, for our survival of the plants and animals. So we must conserve our resources for our own survival and for the betterment of our environment. 